take that 30 minutes to 45 minutes to put everything just right to make it look good, sound good, and then everything hits you and you don't have a chance to breathe the entire day. <clears throat> I'm not going to say exactly procrastination. Jennifer, quit shaking your head yes. <clears throat> uh, my devotional tonight is, uh, is about gossip and uh, how it works and how it feels. I've got uh, a couple of, uh, in, in, in the class that I just got through taking that uh, Marty led, uh, you have a couple of jokes, you have a couple of serious, you have a couple of scriptures, you, you reach out with a hook and then you take them. <clears throat> so uh, my first joke is, have you all ever noticed that uh, it's Mike and Marty and Mike? It's either a bag of uh, chocolate candies or a, a rap group, m and m and m Okay, that's one. Uh, <clears throat> since it's on gossip, uh, I'll quote one of the, the good movies, Steel Magnolias and Weeza. If you don't have anything, anything good and nice to say about someone, come sit down by Weeza. <clears throat> well, it's a good quote, and it's, it's, a, it, it's a good function to what I'm saying tonight. Uh, you all know the scripture, the truth will set you free. Do you know what comes prior to the truth will set you free? <clears throat> you shall know the truth, then the truth shall, shall set you free. You've got to know the truth before you know what's going to set you free. You have to take time to get to know the truth. Uh, <clears throat> Hee Haw had a, a funny little skit that they used to do that, uh, <clears throat> hey, did you hear the one about so-and-so? Anything that uh, someone tells you is, did you hear about? Or, you know, the phone rings and, did you hear about so-and-so? What's going to proceed that, not precede, but proceed that, you have to look at skeptically. You have to take it in your heart. You have to know whether it's the truth so that the truth will be able to set us free. <clears throat> Exodus 23, verse 1. Thou shalt not take up false report, put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. <clears throat> No, I didn't hear about so-and-so. What about him? Is that, an, is that a, <clears throat> an unrighteous witness? Or do you have to repeat what you heard to be an unrighteous witness? I think that just taking part in that is an unrighteous witness. I think we, as the hearer of gossip, an unrighteous <clears throat> false report, that we have to stop it whenever we get that, oh, did you hear? No, I really didn't, but I'm not going to take much, I'm not going to take this much further. I really don't care to hear. Not that I don't care about them. I just don't care to take this conversation any further. We have to tell the good news, not just the news. The good news, not just about the scripture and the commission, but we have to tell the good news about each other. That's just not quite as important to the soul, but it's very important to the mind. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> as someone knows the effects of gossip and rumors and things like that. Uh, no names. <clears throat> Being in business, you, you get lots of gossip. <clears throat> uh, a former employee has a, a, a problem with the casino. Doesn't tell his wife that he has a problem with the casino. He spends his rent money his house payment money, 
at the casino and says, oh, what do I do? I can help you out. I'm glad I can. Now, here's an advance on your check. A month and a half, two months go by. <clears throat> we decide to mutually part company, employee, employer. He goes home. His wife says, where's your last check, honey? Well, I didn't get it. Facebook blows up. <clears throat> Don't you just love Facebook? Has its good parts. <clears throat> love reading Marty's uh, texts on Facebook. <clears throat> you have to be real careful on it. <clears throat> I never responded. Didn't think that uh, that was the right place to say, uh, asking him about the casino. <clears throat> so you take a few hits in life. Know in your heart that you haven't participated. It's always fun to see on Facebook when someone blows it up, complaining or <clears throat> protesting about something that someone said about them. When two or three stories down in Facebook, the same person is, oh, did you hear about so-and-so? <clears throat> Be careful what you say. Be careful what you hear. <clears throat> uh, if we take something that we hear through the, the, the gossip line <clears throat> from someone else about person B and we start treating person B differently, as a brother or sister in Christ, or even someone that's not a brother and sister in Christ. If we treat them differently based on something that we've just heard, are we not taking that false witness that we've heard and being the same as the person who passed the, the rumor and gossip on? I think we need to look at ourselves very hard as to what we hear and what we say, because it truly is like a knife. If you hear something, at least ask if it's the truth before you turn your back on a friend. You never know when it's not going to be the truth. Thank you all. Bless you all.